Hey you guys, I am Latoya Coleman and welcome to my channel. You guys, I am a prophetess and I'll be using these Tickle Me Emma cards for illustration purposes only. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. You guys, I appreciate you. I appreciate all the donations, the um, the subscribers, and the supporters. You guys, if you're interested in booking a personal reading, my website is IamLatoyaColeman.com. You guys, I also have a Twin Flame channel, Twin Flame Tarot 1111. If you're a twin, yeah, go on over there and support the channel. You guys, I drop gems. And if you're interested in trying to find out if the person is your twin or not, um, the information is over there in the, the, the description box. Um, Trait will resonate and I always leave the rest. Because <laughs> that twin is a tricky little energy, you guys. But I'm going to leave that for another time. For some reason, I feel like somebody's losing faith in themselves. I feel like somebody's not seeing the power that's within them. I feel like somebody's giving too much control to another person. I feel like you're afraid to speak up for yourself. <laughs> you having hell of five problems on your hands. Allowing somebody else to have uh, domination over you is what I'm hearing. Feel like somebody is afraid to say something because they're afraid that they're gonna lose something and you lost already you already lost <laughs> i found a deeper meaning and personal growth amid the discomfort you are in discomfort i feel like i feel like you don't even know which way to go and somebody whoever this is that's talking in your ear is trying to use scare tactics to keep you from finding your way to go the moment I embrace my peace within and surrender to the outcome in the moment that the universe will truly get to work. And that's it. See, you got to really to believe in yourself and believe that you have power within you too. See, you getting somebody else too or now just on my cloud. You getting somebody else too much control over you is allowing the universe to allow this person to control you because you're not giving God the most high of the universe. None of the, uh, the credit of them being able to help you during your time of need is what I'm hearing. You too dependent or co you know codependent on somebody else. You don't even believe in yourself anymore. You can't even see anything in your life anymore. Is what I mean. Can't, and you won't, cause you getting somebody too much control over you. Y'all hold on, let me clean my table. All right, <laughs> but yeah, okay. Back to the message, spirit. What do I need to say to collect? I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself that I am love and miracles are natural. I feel like that's the energy that you need to tell yourself because you, I feel like somebody is in a bit of a pickle. They don't know which way to go, what direction to take. They too codependent. Somebody put all their life, their life in somebody else's hand. And now whoever that got the control over you is crushing your shit right in front of your face. And I feel like they think it's funny. Because you have gave complete control over another person. 333 was just in my clock, baby. No more money problems. Oh, wait, hold on. Because this might be a message for somebody. I ain't got no worries. Nope. I ain't got no worries, period. Mm, um, no more money problems in my life. Declare this and expect that. Expect it. If you get you dealing with some money problems, gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. That prayer of showing that okay, spirit, I believe that you can control my destiny. I need you. I feel like I got the power within myself too. Somebody needs to trust in themselves and their ability. The fact that you don't trust yourself, baby, you are lagging. You telling God you don't trust them too. You probably don't believe in God. And that's why you're going through this shit. Cause you gave somebody else control over you. That's God's way of showing you, baby, I'm here when you need me. But you ain't seeing that. Because you too busy not seeing the truth within you. You don't even see yourself. But you see that person, though, that they, they, they got your whole life in their hand and they crushing and shit right in front of your eyes. At least you're letting them. Four, 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 just on my clock, baby. You letting them. You need that freedom, don't you? Mm -hmm. I possess the power. And the free will to create my own happiness. But you doubt it. Mm -hmm. You need to surrender. Let them people go. 
period mm -hmm. i release the need to know all the answers and i can release the need to control your service i feel like whoever this is that you are servicing them actually i feel like you are more of a nasty but you gave them the power to look like they are nasty you gave them the power of your own life baby now you are a puppet and you feel that way. You don't even have faith to believe that things can be changed. I feel like you don't even believe in no power of manifesting or, or shifting your energy or changing your mindset. You don't believe in it. I heard no more. You don't believe that you're the creator of your own will. I believe that you feel like life is unpredictable. And you should wholeheartedly depend on another person. This person got the upper hand on you. And they're going to show you just how much power they have over you. Because you're too cold to pin. You're afraid that you might lose everything. You are already lost, baby. You are already lost. Five, five, five. Just in five. You done lost. So if you lost everything, what else is for you to do? Other than you get your ass up and do what you need to do in order to fit you back in that that your life, yourself, you seeing yourself, fit your, put your life back together and get it out of the hands of others, baby. Stop being so trusting in others, but you can't trust yourself or God. <laughs> You hear me? Mm -hmm. Hard work of the willpower. You need that willpower, baby. Strong will. Hmm, gratitude to believe that you can uh manifest opportunities because right now baby you don't even see it you don't even see it and whoever this is that's around you get to talking mad shit they got a mouth piece on them you hear me y'all always arguing on bickering and shit like that oh this is ink y'all I've been in here writing and manifesting and things to that nature in my little, my journal. So, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, bickering, disagreement, conflict. Mm -hmm. Weak, poor, feeble, meekness, shy, embarrassed, giving up. You're giving up. You done gave up on yourself. I was told, if you ain't got no self-love, then baby, you don't love God. And you uh, seeing your true potential and you is seeing the true potential in your higher self. You seeing the true potential in your higher self is you seeing the potential in God. If you can't see the potential in God, you don't see the potential in yourself. It starts with yourself. So if you can't see nothing that's within you, you can't uh, actually believe that God can control anything. That's telling God, like, God, I don't believe you can do shit for me. The most high, the alpha, the omega, home believe you can lead me down my path. I'd rather put all my trust and my beliefs in another being that, ask, that have to answer to God, too. Yeah, it don't make no sense, though. I know, baby. I know. See, what you got to do is seek yourself. Trust in you. Find. Seek. And you shall find. When you are learning things, you need to learn more about you and not trying to learn anything about anybody else. Because, baby, what you need to do is see the power within thee. You don't see it. You don't know what it means to manifest. You don't know what it means to be great. You don't know what it means to prosper. But you know how to. You know what it means to be codependent on other people. Overly committed, baby. Financial problem, disorganization, lack of priorities. Priorities is, should start with you, but you give them to other people. Gratitude, conflict with others. You're feeling unwelcome in your own vessel. This person belittles you so much, like you don't even feel like you're important. They don't uplift you. They are your enemy, is what I heard. You got your enemy out of control to eat you up. You can't even be inspired by them. You don't have no will and determination because this person is too much trying to pull you down. They mouthpiece them facts. Yeah. But then you got to really, mm, karmic blocking your ass. Learning a lesson. This is your karmic lesson. For you to see the power within you, you done gave too much control. The words of this person is killing you. The words of this person is really making you feel like you ain't nobody. Yeah, that's the work of the devil, baby. Indecision, 
uh, confusion. Yeah, they confusing that man. Self deceit, information, overload, wrong decision. You know you done made the wrong decision. That's why you don't trust yourself. Because even though your higher self keep telling you to move on, get away, you are not in the right place. You will tell your higher self, you don't know what you're talking about. I'd rather deal with this person and what they're doing. Even though they're smearing shit all in my face, I'd rather smell it and eat it too. Because you don't know no better. Most high. God. That truth be hurting on me. I don't love myself enough. <laughs> I don't trust in a new beginning. I don't trust in what God said to me. I don't trust that God can take me somewhere that I need to be. I don't trust my that my spirit can be free. Freedom. Yeah, I don't trust in freedom. I don't trust in peace. I don't trust in happiness. I don't trust in me. I trust them with this bullshit this person is doing for me, though. I trust them. That's why I stick by their side, even though they ain't standing beside mine. Hmm. Gratitude. Look, disappointment. Poor lifestyle choices, baby. Greed. Drinking. Is you drinking a lot? Trying to drink away that pain, baby. And ain't going to work. As soon as you sober up, it's still going to be right there. Right there. Only thing you did was put a little pause on it. 11 on one was on the clock. Go look at that angel number. Boo -boo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You trying to sit up here and think, if I put myself in La La Land, by drinking away my problems, 11, 11 is on the clock. By drinking away my problems, I will manifest happiness, but only in my mind. But the reason that's not working. It's because you're in a toxic environment. So that's just like if you put a uh, one uh, apple that's so rotten in a bunch of other apples, you know the other apples gonna rotten. So you are trying to use the spirits in the bottle that are called to convert your mind into believing that everything is okay in your life, right? So that's the manifesting part. But then the reality come and hit your ass that it's not okay. That's that toxicity. That spiraling out of control. And then you go drink again. Because you was like, or drink or be intoxicated in some type of way. You'll go tell yourself again, well, maybe if I fill myself up with this fumes. Putting toxicity in my life again, in my, in my vessel. I can be able to numb that off. But it seems like the more you try to get high or numb off the it. The reality hits you quicker than what it was beforehand. And it's like you're seeing the things that you need to see. That this energy that you're in is like a fell energy. It's botched. You trying to drink it away. You think maybe if you drink it away, it'll look a certain type of way. But it still got you in this missed opportunity. Reality going to hit your ass. It hits you over and over. During the day of the heavy. Yo, you done made this your head. Of lying to yourself. Hmm. That's the truth. You done made a daily habit of being a fool to another person. You have made it a daily habit of being weak. Hiding. Hiding the truth. And whatever this person is holding over you, baby, that ain't nothing compared to what you go to on a daily. Like, whatever this person do, however they do, just let them do it on their own. If they holding some secrets or something to that nature, then baby, let them spill it. Spill the tea. You'll get over it. Mm -hmm. You will. But you and this energy are trying to lie to yourself. Refusal to self-examine and face reality. That's what it says. Let me put it up close so you can see it. It says divine intervention self-doubt can you see that y'all mm -hmm. inner critic ignorance <laughs> ignoring your inner purpose uh-huh yeah you see that it says refusal to self-examine and face reality that's why you know me yourself but it's like the more you keep doing that the more spirit keeps showing you like what is you believing in this is showing you that struggling family disconnection, misaligned value, falsehood, motives, it's not real. And you're allowing somebody to have complete control over you like they are your God. 
God said, don't put no other God before me. And that's what you've done. You done put another God before God and told God, God, I don't, the Almighty, the big God, the most high God. I, I don't believe in you, God, but I believe in this other vessel that still has the answer to you. This negative-ass person that's filled with so much hell and animosity, baby. They have no loving bone in their body. Because they already broken. That's why they use and hold money over your head or manipulate you some type of way. Speaking so negative in your life, baby. It's for you to let it go and see something different. See the power within you, but you can't. Because you too busy being codependent on these secrets and these lies. But you dismembered yourself because you don't believe. But the only reason you're going through all this shit is for you to believe again. Believe in God, baby. That's why you battling things that's going through your life, struggling. You struggling because you being resistant to what the Most High is telling you. And you codependent, gratitude. All that fake ass love, that's not real, boo. So what is you telling yourself? This person love you. That shows you you don't love yourself. Because this person can't show you love. Love is not a sacrifice from what I was told. Lord don't make you feel that type of way. And if you got to cry and go numb yourself to, to make yourself pretend like things is better, <laughs> baby, that's something sad. Then you don't trust yourself, baby. You don't love yourself, boo. You really don't. You like fucking. I'd rather do this, endure this than to believe in what God said. He, if I got a birthright of being upon this, all I got to do is go heal myself. Mm. Hmm. You don't want to go through that healing. But you rather endure somebody keep poking at you every day, day in and day out is what I'm hearing. They do this shit for fun, poking you with that knife, baby. Cold hearted, bitch, overly emotional, naive, difficulty solving problem, problematic ass person that you don't put your whole life in their damn hands. I'm talking about all your life in their hands. And they showing you exactly why you should have never. Because they're a liability. They ain't no asset. You the asset. They're the liability, baby. They just got you feeling like you are beneath them. But they're not even above nobody. They can't even control their own life. They're not happy within them. They don't have no peace in them. They only got hell. That goes to show you some people can put on a facade to make shit look a certain type of way because they got it like that. They ain't got shit like that. You ought to see how they walk. A person gonna walk the way they walk. They all crap to me the way I see it. Because they ain't real. They're not authentic. And then they try to flaunt their little money or do whatever. And then they, and they, and they lost their money anyway. Their money ain't even making them happy. They lost their soul because they're trying to gain the whole world with all that false ass, fake ass image of them being the imposter. They're not real. And it goes to show that you ain't real neither, baby. You see that? Bogus. Hmm. This person is so bogus. So toxic because they got it like that. You need to learn how to discern this energy and remove yourself back. It don't take nothing but you getting your ass up and going. Because right now you need a little gratitude. Take your ass, get up, and fucking go. Because right now you're sacrificing your dream, your happiness. You, you're sacrificing yourself for another. You put all your your, your eggs in their basket. Now you frustrated because this person ain't treating you right. This person is showing you their true colors. What you want? You want something else? You want them to show you something else? Because if they show you something else, it's lies. Like, you are in the storm with this person. You know exactly who this person is. And they might go outside and pretend to be somebody else. But, baby, you know the truth. Don't you? Don't you? Karmic-ass person. Karmic-ass marriage. Karmic ass, whatever relationship connection this is that you have put yourself in. You don't even feel like you're welcome now. But you're not. This person ain't even welcome within their own vessel. So how can they make you feel welcome? You feel me? Gratitude. Period. Take a resonate. And I always leave the rest. If you ain't caught nothing, I hope you did, baby. I hope you caught the message. To thyself be true. 
Stand up for yourself. 1922 was on my clock. Whatever that mean. Go look it up. Stand up for yourself. And be great within you. But for the next step is being you so stressed out, baby, you're going to get in a marriage of your own stuff. Because you had no trust in you anyway. You didn't love yourself. Period. Mm. Get up out of this mess ass environment. And detox your life so you can detox your mind. So you can detox your soul. So you can detox your body. So you can detox your heart. And that detoxing ain't gonna do nothing but heal you, baby. Get up out because somebody done brought you down to your knees, boo boo. To your knees with that fake ass was all. Hey, you know, Bill. And keep lying to yourself. Why? Why? For some coins that you can, can achieve by yourself. You have the power to gain this as well. Abundance. It's in your birthright. You can be self-made. You ain't got to be codependent. You ain't got to depend on nobody. Transform yourself. Be ye transformed, baby. You guys, self be true. Nip that shit in the bud and go on about your business. Because this person ain't going to miss you before you miss it. It. Hmm. A table raise name. And I always leave the rich guys if you're interested in booking a personal reading. My website is I am LatoyaGoldman.com. You guys, if you want to donate to the channel for the month of September, it's 999. I appreciate y'all. Enjoy your day. And don't have it any other way. Okay. Peace.